new study of sun's magnetic field yields shocking result. This is yesterday's article on Sputnik. Scientists say their findings are essential to getting a better and more precise understanding of the processes taking place in the sun's atmosphere, some of which can affect Earth. Researchers from Aberystwyth University of Wales, Queen's University Belfast and other universities across Europe discovered that the sun's magnetic field is roughly 10 times more powerful than they previously thought. 10 times more powerful. The scientists' findings published in the Astrophysical Journal were made possible thanks to Dr. David Kuritz and his team's close observation of particularly powerful solar flare on the sun's surface over a 10-day period in September 2017. They were using data from Sweden's one uh, meter, meter solar telescope in Roque de la Muchachos observers, uh, observers in the Canary Islands using the telescope's high-resolution imaging spectral polar, polarimetry and applying a combination of certain favorable conditions and a bit of luck by happening to focus on just the right volatile area of the sun. When the solar flare hit, Dr. Kuritz and his collaborators were able to get previously un precedented gauging of the actual power of the flare magnetic field. He said everything that happens in the sun's outer atmosphere is dominated by the magnetic field, but we have very few measurements of its strength and spatial characteristics. These are critical parameters, the most important for the physics of the solar corona. And he said uh, he was referring to the aura of the plasma which surrounds the sun and other stars and extends millions of kilometers into space. The focus of the solar flare allowed researchers for the first time ever to measure accurately the magnetic field of the coronal loops, the building blocks of the sun's magnetic corona, with such a level of accuracy. Previously, scientists were limited by the weakness of the signal from the sun's atmosphere that actually makes its way to Earth and the relatively low power of man-made instruments. The magnetic field studies in Dr. Kuritz et al. study registering at a whopping 100 times weaker than those encountered in a typical hospital MRI scanner. Nevertheless, these readings are still strong enough to confine the solar plasma making up solar flare to within 20,000 kilometers above the sun's surface. Study co-author Dr. Michael Mathiudakis, professor at Queen's University Belfast School of Mathematics and Physics, boasted that the study contains a unique set of observations for which for the first time provide a detailed map of the magnetic field in coronal loops. The results, according to the academic, will be the opening of new avenues in the study of the solar corona. These findings, in turn, could very well change humanity's understanding of the processes taking place in the sun's immediate atmosphere. Solar flares, as we know, can lead to magnetic storms, and if they make it to Earth, create the northern lights effects that we get, also known as the uh, aurora borealis in the north, or the southern lights in the south. When sufficiently intense, solar flares threaten to cause, of course, as we know, extensive damage to man-made infrastructure, affecting everything from spacecraft, satellite instruments, in near-Earth orbit to power grids on Earth itself. In 2011, the U.S. National Academy of Science calculated that a repeat of a major solar storm like the one which struck Earth in 1859, that's known as the Carrington event, could cause as much as $2 trillion in initial damage and take up to a decade to repair.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.